the weather is good. And finally, we can show you the motorbike, our development. Here it is, the famous Bajaj Pulsar, which we bought deliberately to install an electric kit with a motor Slavanka in it. And you see that it's not different from the original one. What did we do? We removed the motor. We put a reducer here. DA100S, 5 kW motor and the battery. We put another battery in the tank. This one is 50 mph. 50 mph here as well. And of course we put the controller here. This development took us almost a year, but now we will be able to repeat it quite quickly. And of course I want to give the floor to our Ivan, who tested this great motorbike. He will share his impressions with you, I think. Right, Ivan? Hello, everyone. This is Ivan again. I test this motorbike. What would I like to say? First of all, we are in the Sochi Olympic Park, and I came here on my own. By the way, Today, my previous measuring of distance covered on this motorbike finished. The mixed cycle. I rode in mountains a little bit, but most time I rode on the highway. And I covered 180 kilometers, but I did not run out of energy in the battery. I had charged it in advance to continue using the motorbike. You need to understand that you never ride until you reach the minimal charge of the battery. Of course, you always think in advance. And if you are going on a longer distance trip, you can charge the motorbike at night or in the morning. And I think that the distance of 180 kilometers is good. What was the speed? Well, I was now riding on a highway, a big road, where speed limit is 90 km per hour. So my speed was about 80 km per hour. Because, of course, when you ride at a high speed, you need a different outfit. And the average speed in the city is 60 km per hour. Big highways, it is 70 to 80 km per hour in the city. It is, well, officially up to 60 km per hour. And it is a good indicator of the distance. And acceleration is very quick, which I like a lot. You know, traffic lights. We get round cars, we get in front of them, and we may not worry that we will constrain people behind us. Yes, I heard someone tried to compete with you. Right, we are always the first to start, and it really excites people around. They think, like, why are you the first? Because acceleration is stable, you don't have to switch gears, you don't have to press the clutch. You just turn the gas handle and there you go. And we get very stable traction. There are no flops, there are no jerks. You turn the handle and that is exactly the speed you get. And another convenient thing is that you can move with a slow speed as well. You don't have to release the gas handle. You just turn the handle a little bit. Well, the electric motorbike with this kit, with the doing off motor, it is only advantages. You can move slowly or fast. You don't need much knowledge and many skills. Easy to manage, easy to control. The minimum coverage of distance is 180, and then we will see, test will show that. And the speed is up to 100 km per hour, where you can move smoothly on it. Friends, and now I will show you how easy it is to start. We just turn the start key. It is standard ignition. We did not remove anything. And it is ready for movement. We turn the gas handle. And that's it. The wheel is rotating. Movement is there. As simple as that.
Friends, today we have had a ride, we looked at it, we tested it, we were really happy that this kit turned out to be amazing on this motorbike. We know already that it can cover more than 180 kilometers on mixed asphalt road, 120 kilometers on an ordinary road, in the mountains, on a cross-country track. As for the speed, it is up to 100 km per hour. This is what we needed. It is a city cycle 60 km, 80 km, 100 km per hour. If you want to follow the link, look at our other projects. Get registered in the project Solar Group. And I remind you that we have a great team, it is the Steen team, which designs new developments, a cross-country vehicle, a huge one, a really huge one, a small cross-country vehicle, boat motors, drill brakes. We work on all of it quite actively and we put motors with combined windings on all these projects, which are the most economical, energy-saving and the most convenient motors to my mind as of today. Thank you very much for your attention and all the best to you!